Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your What's Coming Towards You reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant, formerly known as the Dream Medium. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Okay, Libra, so let's see what's coming towards you. What is coming towards Libra? What is coming towards Libra? Let's see. Okay, Queen of Swords paired with the Devil. What is coming towards Libra? Ooh, Ten of Swords, Libra. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, Six of Wands, Victory. Good, good, good. Okay. All right, so let's look at the Queen of Swords paired with the Devil. The Queen of Swords, clarify the Queen of Swords. This is someone who is very cold, okay? Very cold-hearted. There's a lack of empathy with this Queen of Swords, which can be very scary, okay? Um, people who lack empathy because they don't really feel bad for what they do. Um, this Queen of Swords has been watching you, Libra. This Queen of Swords, you've been on her radar. Um, this Queen of Swords, you know, I, I almost feel like this Queen of Swords is like blaming you for something that happened to her. Um, it's like she's putting all the blame on you. It's someone who's just very cold, very cutting. Clarify the Queen of Swords. So, okay, let's get started, okay? Because this Queen of Swords is very interesting. Give me a second. Let me really look into this in this individual and see what it is that they want. There we go. Okay. But why do I feel like, Libra, why do I feel like you don't even know this person, though? You may know of this person, but I feel like there's no close connection that you have to them. Um, please remember these cards are energies. They're not gender specific. Anyone can embody this energy here, but it is a feminine energy. Um... It's like, like, look at this queen, look at, look at the scowl, look at the scowl on her face, right? She's been keeping, she's been keeping tabs on you. I don't want to say she's been keeping tabs on you, but I feel like it, when you do have an encounter with her, it's like, it's not that she's been watching you, she knows of you, and when you, if the two of you ever happen to cross paths, man, they're going to stare you down. This is, she's even being represented by the devil, okay? Um, the devil represents someone who's very toxic. The devil represents heavy toxicity. This is someone who has a very dark energy, or they could just be dark spiritually. Um, this is someone who is very controlling and very obsessive. I feel like this person is very used to having their way with people. I also feel like this is someone who you don't want to... Uh, this is someone who... You know, it's like... Working or partner, partnering up with this person is a major risk. Whether this is being just friends with them, lovers, you don't want to work with this individual because they're very toxic. And working with them is like a contract. It's like some sort of deal with them. And it's you're you're not gonna get any benefits. It may it may it may feel that you will, 
They may present them as someone who you do want to work with, but the outcome is going to be very bad on your end. This is someone who's just going to get all the gain, okay? And But you're going to take all the losses. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is here. And when I looked at the Wheel of Fortune, what I heard is it, it's about... <laughs> How do I say this? Like, it's about time that you meet this individual, that you cross paths with this individual, because I feel like the two of you don't know each other personally, but the two of you know of each other. This is a very karmic individual, and I am going to look more into this Wheel of Fortune here. Um, but I almost feel like this Queen of Swords is going to to meet her her match, you know, because you're here as the queen of wands you don't play games either you don't play games either libra Th these are two women or two feminine energies um you don't play games this queen of swords may be really good with her mouth you know because the king and the king and queen of swords are very expressive um very communicative you know, they use their words. They can be very mean and very hurtful with their words. But let me tell you, this Queen of Wands is very powerful as well. This is a warrior. This is a defender. Okay? This is someone who has been through a lot of battles in their life. This is someone who knows how to stand their ground. You know, it's like you may have a sword in your hand, but girl, I have a wand in my hand. Okay, so these are two individuals who fight differently. One uses very hurtful words or hurtful tactics, whereas one, you know, you don't want to mess with, I'm just saying, you don't want to mess with this queen of wands. This is a warrior, okay, who really knows how to fight, whether that's with her hands or with her mouth, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't condone violence, but you just don't want to get in a fight with the queen of wands. <laughs> um but this is someone, you know, the Queen of Swords, very mischievous, I feel. Very mischievous because the Seven of Pentacles is someone who's who's persistent. But I feel like in this reading, the Seven of Pentacles is representing someone who's planning something, orchestrating something, plotting something. We're going to look more into this. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that was a lot of cards. Oh, I see. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, it looks like, because you have the Emperor that's here, this is a masculine energy, it looks like this Queen of Swords is connected to, and I had a feeling, but I was just waiting for the cards to come out and confirm it for you to see, see it for yourself. This Queen of Swords is connected to the Emperor. The Emperor, this is a masculine energy. This is someone who likes a lot of control. They like dominance. Um, but, you know, honestly, the Emperor can create this, this facade of having everything under control, but then behind closed door, excuse me, behind closed doors, his life is a hot mess. I feel like the two of them were in some sort of karmic run with each other because the Wheel of Fortune is a karmic wheel. So this Queen of Swords is connected to your Emperor. Definitely. When I clarified the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Swords came out. You know, the, the Nine of Swords is someone who is having sleepless nights. This is someone whose mental health is all over the place. Okay. Um, you even have the Page of Wands that's here. I feel like this is all happening. I feel like this Queen of Swords is doing this or or is about to do this to you because the Emperor has made a final decision and has most likely chosen you. Because the Page of Wands is someone who's very um, certain of what it is that they're going to do. So a decision has been made, Page of Wands. Someone who is decisive about what it is that they want and they know how to get it. And you even have the Ten of Pentacles that's here. It's almost like this Queen of Swords feels like she should be the one who who should get this Ten of Pentacles with your Emperor. 
You even have the four of pentacles that's here. This is someone who is very attached. There's a lot of clinginess within this karmic connection between the queen of swords and your emperor. One of them is refusing to let go because one of them is wanting this ideal family life. The ten of pentacles represents an ideal family life, a relationship that is guaranteed to be abundant and long term. This queen of swords feels like she deserves that. But it's almost like it didn't work out in her favor, but then she's she's blaming you. Um, I feel like she she's going to meet, meet her match, her perfect match, because you're here as the queen of wands. You don't tolerate BS either. Um, and the ten of cups is here. So between you and that emperor, it's definitely a ten of cups connection. The two of you have the potential to really make this, you know, make this long term as well. Um, wow. So the, the Seven of Swords is someone who is very sneaky, very sneaky, very calculated, very deceitful, someone who does sneaky things and they, they get away with it. They know how to cover up their tracks. Okay. That's who you're dealing with. That's who this Queen of Swords is. What are they going to do? Clarify the Seven of Swords. What is this Queen of Swords going to do? Clarify the Seven of Swords. Ace of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. of wands I really feel like this queen of swords is trying to punish you because the knight of swords is a completely different energy I asked what the seven of swords was about the seven of swords is this is how she is also viewing the emperor. She's viewing the emperor as someone who is a cheater, as someone who is very sneaky um, and deceitful, as someone who, with the Ace of Swords, you know, kept kept truths from her because the Ace of Swords represents clarity, getting the truth. I feel like that emperor was dealing with you and, you know, also dealing with this Queen of Swords, but kept it hidden. Um, was very sneaky about it. And some way, somehow, you have been discovered. She has found out about you. You know, and it, it makes it worse because the Knight of Swords is here. The Knight of Swords is still representing that emperor that the both of you dealt with. The Knight of Swords is very swift energy as well. So it looks like this Queen of Swords is going to come towards you after the emperor, who's also being represented as the Knight of Swords, takes, takes this swift action towards you for hence the Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, I can't make this up, you guys. Look, on the back of the deck, Ace of Wands representing a passionate new beginning. This is what the Emperor, also known as the Nine of Swords, is going to be doing, coming towards you for this passionate new beginning. And also the Hierophant is here. The Hierophant represents confessing in order to receive forgiveness. But once, once your person does that, this Queen of Swords, you're on her radar. Okay, I, I just I feel like she's going to be putting a lot of blame on you for the connection ending between um, her and your person. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Four of Wands. Three of Cups. Of course that Three of Cups came out. The Moon. Mm. 
this is the other woman. In my readings, whenever there is another woman, the third party, she always comes out as the Queen of Cups, always in my readings. And this is just our confirmation. This is the other woman that your love interest was dealing with. And she is hurt. I mean, she's the Queen of Swords. She's cold. She's cutting. Um, and then she's here as the Ten of Swords. She feels backstabbed. She feels betrayed. She's even here as the Queen of Cups. This is typically a woman who um, is very loving or she presents herself as someone who's very loving, um, you know, very emotional. The Queen of Cups feels very deeply. And so when she's hurt, she's hurt deeply. When she's angry, she's, you know, deeply angry. When she's malicious, she's deeply malicious um, this is just someone who feels emotions very strongly and the fact that she feels betrayed it's overwhelming her it's it's you know sometimes on the negative side the Queen of Cups can be someone who is also emotionally unbalanced on the negative side and it is confirming the ten of swords so I just feel like this is what that's what's happening to this individual you even have the four of wands that's here the Four of Wands, this represents a commitment that has ended. The Four of Wands is representing, is, is clarifying the Ten of Swords. Remember, the Ten of Swords represents the ultimate betrayal and the ultimate defeat. So someone feels like their commitment, their relationship has been destroyed. And I just feel like it goes back to what I said earlier, how resentful and malicious this Queen of Swords is, is feeling towards you because she feels like you are the reason. You have the Two of Cups that's here. Two of Cups represents a partnership. Okay, this is definitely a relationship. I'm telling you, your love interest was committed to this Queen of Swords or was in some sort of relationship with this Queen of Swords. But it has ended very painfully. I mean, this is the maximum, sword, the maximum swords in tarot. All 10 swords are here. It has ended very badly. I'm not going to lie, though. I feel like their connection, even without you, was very messy and very toxic. Because remember earlier, she came out as the devil. You know, I feel like this connection really ended because of the toxicity between the two of them. But it looks like she's blaming you. Even if you look at the Two of Cups, it's a partnership, yes, but it's a messy partnership. Look at the ground. You have the sandwiches, the knives, the forks, cakes cards are everywhere you know so it was never even a stable connection between the two of them but yet the two of them were still together but now it has ended three of cups can't make this up three of cups third party situation i always say the three of cups can either represent a third party situation or some form of celebration and a collaboration but it's clarifying the Ten of Swords. This is nothing, this is nothing to celebrate. This is someone feeling the ultimate betrayal due to finding out about a third party, which is you, the Queen of Wands. It makes sense that you came out as the Queen of Wands. Because sometimes the Queen of Wands is also seen as the other woman, you know, in, in some readings. For me, the Queen of Cups is the other woman. But the Queen of Wands is seen as someone who, yes, she's powerful. Yes, she, you know, she's seen as very, uh, you know, sassy or, or feisty. But this is also a woman who has great sex appeal. And, and so sometimes the Queen of Wands is, is looked at as promiscuous um, and, and really good at seducing people. Um, I'm not saying that that is who you are. I am just saying that that is how this queen of swords is looking at you because she is blaming you for the, the breakup between her and that emperor. Okay. Who looks like the love interest between the two of you. All right. Um, the moon is here. The moon represents secrets the moon represents deceit, something that just isn't being seen, shown, or something that's hidden. Clarify the moon. Uh, 
terrify the moon. of swords wow this is a heavy reading okay so I clarify the moon to see what was going on the deception the, the deception here you guys I don't even believe that you are at fault I believe it's that Emperor and I said it right when the Emperor comes out this is someone who presents themselves to have everything under control but behind closed doors the emperor is a hot is a is a hot mess. This emperor was was keeping lots of secrets that really hurt you. Yes, but as we can see now, it's hurting the queen of swords who has found out. When I clarify the moon, the six of pentacles came out. Six of pentacles represents balance needing to be restored. So this queen of swords is really seeing you. It's like this queen of swords is seeing you as the reason as to why her relationship was so unbalanced. If you ask me, it's the emperor who should be blamed, right? But some people, when they're hurt, they just don't think logically. This queen of swords is seeing you as the injustice. This, this queen of swords feels like she's owed justice. Justice has to be served for the imbalance that you caused. She's seeing it as, as deceit. It's like she's finding out that she's been cheated on or something. You even have the eight of cups that's here. You know, this is this is an ending. The Eight of Cups is someone who is severing ties, walking away. So this Queen of Swords, the, the Eight of Cups is someone who invested a lot of their time, their love, their energy into the situation. I mean, the maximum cups in Tarot is 10, and there's all eight here. So this Queen of Swords really invested a lot of her time and effort into her relationship only for her to not get what it is that she wanted. And now the Eight of Cups, she's having to walk away, right? So I, I just, I don't know. It's, this is someone who's hurt and isn't being reasonable. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. Six of Wands represents victory. This Six of this Queen of Swords is confident that whatever it is that she's planning, because remember that Seven of Pentacles came out. I was like, she's planning something. She's very confident that whatever it is she's planning, it's going to work. Clarify the Six of Wands. Clarify the Six of Wands. King of Swords. Clarify the Six of Wands. Three of Swords on the back, Eight of Wands. Okay, let's see what's happening here. So the Six of Wands, like I said, victory. I feel like this is victory to get get the King of Swords, which is who she wants. Um, the both of them are are showing up as the King and Queen of Swords because there's a lot of coldness and distance between the two of them. I feel like this King of Swords has really cut her out. Um, 
and but it's like she's still wanting victory with this king of swords here you even have the three of swords as well the three of swords represents that heartbreak due to that third party situation um you have the high priestess that's here you definitely have this person coming towards you because the eight of wands represents swift energy. So, you you know, something that's going to happen swiftly. So you may not even see this coming, but of course, I'm here to give you a heads up. Clarify the high priestess. They're coming towards you. They're even coming out as the high priestess. This is someone who's intuitive as well, or this could be someone who's spiritual. Um, clarify the high priestess. Why are they coming out as the high priestess? Why are they coming out as the high priestess? Yeah, the high priestess is someone who's very intuitive. Um, they can be very spiritual as well. When I clarify the high priestess, four of cups and the five of swords came out. I feel like this individual has gotten has gotten a lot of insight on you and who you are. Like when they found out about you, they went and they dug up some more about you. Or they may have maybe, you know, gotten a reading about you, talked to a tarot reader about you, or because this is someone who's spiritual, so they could have done something spiritual to to find out more about you as well. Um, because this is someone who just really knows a lot. Um, Four of Cups representing rejection. The Five of Swords is here as well. The Chariot and the Judgment. Chariot is all about forward movement. This person has... I, I just feel like this was bound to happen. That's why the Judgment is here. It was something that was bound to happen. They're here also as the Four of Swords and the Hermit. Four of Swords is someone who is mentally exhausted. This has really drained this individual. They're coming out of the Hermit, the hermit energy. For some of you, this may be your first encounter with this person. If they do try to cross paths with you. They're here as the Knight of Wands, okay? This is a very passionate individual. Um, this is also a fighter as well. What are they going to do? What is this Queen of Swords planning on doing to Libra? What is this Queen of Swords planning on doing to Libra? Two of Pentacles. Two of Wands, the world. So the Two of Wands is all about decision. Someone who's made a set decision. And then, the, and then you have the world that's here as well. I almost feel like the, um, I almost feel like this Queen of Swords is going to try to um, have influence over your decision about your emperor. Okay? It's like their goal is to get you to reject this emperor here to complete this cycle because they see you as the world which is someone who's on the borderline of either going back to their to the past or going towards a new beginning and it's like they want to help you make this decision for you to move forward and away from your emperor even here on the back of the deck you have the two of pentacles representing um instability juggling yeah this individual knows like i, I feel like they, they want to influence your decision Okay, however way they're going to do that, that's that's their goal, okay? Um, all right, Libra, so definitely good luck with this individual. I would be cautious of them because, like I said, this is someone who's just very cold cutting. This is someone who's very heartbroken, so they may act very unreasonable, you know? But um, please make sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not since it's general. Um, if you're interested in a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box. Please be careful. There are scammers out there. I never leave my information in the comment section, only in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you. Take care.